a preparedness summer camp. Today is the last chance to change classes. And there's something spooky in the cemetery. Also on this show, there's still a chance to be in the talent show. And we look back on sports, forwards to the calendar, and weather. All that and more coming up right, uh, right now on JDTV News. Hello and welcome to our first show in over a year here on JDTV News. I'm your host, Arthur. And I'm your host, Ryan. We were away for two semesters and a summer, but we're back. And we're also back to weekly shows every Friday that we have school. Today is the last day to change your semester two class schedule. The counseling office is the place to go and do that. You need to come up to the counseling office during the period that you want to change and put your name on a list and you will be seen on a first come, first serve basis. Uh, after Friday, any changes to your schedule, if you want to change a class or drop a class, it will result in a withdraw fail, which will be put on your transcript. FEMA is looking for 40 high school students from four states, including Alaska, to start a youth pr uh, preparedness program uh, in Anchorage in July. FEMA says that the program will be en engaging and empowering way for high school students to practice emergency preparedness. The FEMA website explains that there will be leadership opportunities, team building, and camp uh, physical activities to ensure a fun week. De developing a youth engagement concept, this six-day, five-night camp will teach students how to safely assist in the immediate aftermath of a disaster when the professional response may be delayed or limited. The deadline to sign up for this camp is the end of today, the end of the day on January 19th. The talent show put on by the sophomore class will be on next Saturday, January 18th. Everyone who comes gets one homecoming point towards their class. Miss Razor, who also teaches video production, is a sophomore class advisor. Town shows have been going on at JD for at least 20 or 30 years. Um, it's always been run by the sophomores. Five to 10 years ago, uh, it was really big and it, they would have two nights of the show because it was such a big success. The last couple years, it's kind of slowed down and not as many people. So we only have one night and hopefully this year we get more people and we're really excited about it. Historically in this class, we've had uh, d we've done many uh, bios of ourselves. If you have a talent for a uh, film critic, then you'll love this next piece. We take a look at a dramatic twist on the classic video biography. Hello? Where am I? State your name for the record. Arthur. Arthur McVeigh. Date of birth? September 18th, 2002. Do you know why you're here? It says here you were on the JDTV News program. Yes. Tell us about that. Well, it was a very, very stressful place. Lots of work to do. I can remember many times I was running over-caffeinated right before the show. When deadlines are getting tight, things can get pretty heated. Upon hearing this revelation, the council will reflect on your fate. Wait, what does that mean? Wow. Just wow. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, moving on. Yes, let's take a look at sports, starting with the Capital City Classics basketball tur tournament that took place over the winter break. The girls' team swept their games beating West Valley 62-61. to In the second game, they beat East Anchorage 52-41. to and they closed out the tournament by beating Sika 52 to 38. The guys had a little tougher time at Capital City Classic. First, they lost to Haynes 73 to 83. Then they beat out North Pole 73 to 12. 
and finally fell by just two points to Soldatna, uh, 52 to 54. The girls' basketball team was back in action last week, losing to Colony also by just two points last Thursday, 53 to 55. They had better luck hosting Bartlett, winning again with just two point difference, 44 to 42 on Friday. And stretching that to a six point win, 50 to 44 on Saturday. The boys basketball team is traveling this week on Wednesday. They took on Wasilla, but lost 46 to 51. And yesterday in their first game of the Alaska prep shootout at Diamond High School in Anchorage, the boys fell to the West Valley Wolfpack, 77 to 46. The tournament continues this weekend with the boys playing uh, Chugach at uh, 4 p.m. today. Be sure to tune in next week for the results. That's all for sports. Up next, let's take a look forward at the next week here on at JDHS with the calendar. Today at 4 p.m. hockey. JV play Eagle River at Trodwell Arena until 5.30. On Saturday, there will be a boys basketball game against Sitka. The C team plays 4.30 p.m. and the JV starts 6.15. Next Friday and Saturday, the girls basketball team will travel to Sitka. Also on Saturday, the 18th, at 7 p.m. at JDHS is the talent show. Don't forget to grab your tickets. And that's it for the calendar. Busy start to this year. That's a lot of inside stuff. But to find out what's next going on outside, we go to Krishna with the weather. Take it away. Thanks, Orion. First of all, there's a pre numeral or partial lunar eclipse happening right now. Behind me is a live telescope video from Italy. Unfortunately, the moon has already set here in Juno, so you can't see it in person. Speaking of space, let's take a look at the satellite. Looks like it's going to be mostly clear today, and some clouds might be rolling in as well. And a bunch more cold air is going to be coming in from the north for the weekend. Taking a look at the Eagle Crest webcam, with this big snowstorm that we got this week, Eagle Crest has a lot of snow. At 18 inches at the base and 77 at the top of the mountain, it looks like it's going to be a great weekend for skiing. Today is going to be mostly cloudy with a high around 24 and a low around 14 degrees Fahrenheit. There is a high wind watch from last night until Saturday night. The winds are going to get as high as 60 miles per hour. Going to be mostly sunny on Saturday with a high of 16 and a low of 14. Finally on Sunday, there will be mostly sunny as well. The highs are about 18 degrees and the lows around 12. And that's it for the weather. Arthur? Looks like a cold weekend ahead. Yeah, I hear Ketchikan schools are canceled today for a snow day. I wonder if we'll get any snow days this year. We can only hope. Hey, Orion, do you like scary movies? No, I hate them. I always get so scared. Why? No reason. It's just that we're taking a look at the short film we made last semester, Banana Horror. Hey, JJ, can you hand me a banana? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Do you guys see that guy? He's really creepy. JJ, let's get out of here. It's kind, of, it's kind of creepy. Let's head this way. Wait, what's he doing? No time, let's dip. What do you want from us? Why are you following us? Leave us alone. You ate the insides of my family and threw away the corpses to rot. Now you shall die as well. Where to now? The graveyard. But why? Because. Now what? Now we hide. Where? Uh, there.
No way! That's just bananas. Arthur, do you know what else is bananas? What? Our website. Be sure to go check it out at jdhsvideo.org and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more episodes of JDTV News while you're there. Yes, and also be sure to follow us on Twitter, at JDHS Video, for more updates. That's all we have time for this week. Be sure to tune in for, the, for more news you can use. Go Bears! Go Bears!